So with all this great new technology like green roofs and green walls and urban meadows, we all know that they have great environmental benefits, but they don't seem to be getting enough traction in terms of implementation in our cities. Now why is that? Is it public perception, public complacency, or simply a lack of understanding of the potential of urban ecological design? Urban ecology is both a discipline and a new way of thinking, or seeing the world. As a new field of thought, urban ecology views humans as part of nature. Currently, we've just crossed over the threshold where over half of us around the world living in cities. And in a few decades, it's going to be more than half of us, up to two thirds. Although we've been doing a lot for our city environments in terms of putting green space in, in terms of putting, say, tree plantings in, the growth of cities is increasing much more rapidly across the globe. Uh, there's an increase in impervious cover, in air and water pollution, and pollutants, and and all this is decreasing ecological function. It's decreasing the ecosystem services, the things which nature gives us for free. Urban ecology opposes the traditional view that cities are sterile, exceptional environments in which plants and animals are present by coincidence and where only superficial relationships exist. Instead, human settlements are considered like any semi-natural ecosystem where human influence is on par with any of the many other patterns, processes and communities that have stabilized and recur over time and space. Right here, we've in Texas, we've been looking at uh, green roof design. Most of the green roof design has come from temperate regions. And what we're trying to look at here is how in a climatic region of heavy stormwater events, high temperatures above 40 degrees Celsius during the day, how can we design the green roof system? And we've been, we've been successful. We found out what doesn't work and what does. The point is that a little application of ecological knowledge can go a long way in designing these systems for specific climates. The integration of humans with the environment extends into the discipline of urban ecology as well. It means that urban planning and design become less haphazard, with full consideration of existing landforms, biodiversity, water conservation, maintenance of microclimates, and climate change adaptation, as well as more traditional functions like recreation and relaxation. Up till now, the architects and landscape architects have had very specific guidelines about how they do business. And unfortunately, that to the most extent, that's left out ecological process. Now, what we want to do with this survey is we want to ask the students and professionals out there what they, how they think we can fix this, how we can, we can up the ante for improving ecological function of our cities. We want to know what the goals are of improved ecological functions and also what the geographical variation is.